or this uh, go too far. Well, there'd be bass. What is up, CO Fish Bro here. I have got a couple boxes to open today. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. These boxes have been sitting in my office for probably four months. Apprehensious to use the product that's inside. Not to say that I won't use the product, but I just am not sure what to think about it yet. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside. Really great job packaging boxes, by the way. Much easier than Amazon boxes. Got these from Dick's Sporting Goods. Ooh, it smells in here. Mm. Well, it might work then. It smells that bad already. Uh, looks like the lid came off of this one. The product is Bait Cloud Fish Attractant. This particular one is the Walleye Attractant. And I have to say, it's smelling pretty fishy already. Um, that is the first one. This is just an invoice to send it back. Whew. I'm telling you what, man, that stuff smells. I hope this doesn't make my living room smell. Let's see what the other one is. This one didn't open. This is Bait Cloud Shad. So we have the Bait Cloud Walleye and the Bait Cloud Shad. Um, each of these little containers were 10 bucks. They each come with three balls. Um, essentially they're like a bath bomb. Um, you throw them in the water where you're fishing and they create kind of like a fizz and a smell and an attractant for fish make these for all different kinds of fish. The specific one that I bought was for walleye. I bought a shad one as well. We have a lot of shad in our local lakes. Um, I just thought I'd give them a try, but at the same time, I'm kind of hesitant. I've spent a lot of time getting myself to where I am today as far as a fisherman goes, and I just don't know if I want to rely on a product like this, but it could be similar to chumming, I would assume. I've read up a little bit about them. They say that you can use them in most tournaments. So I'm not sure if this is the same thing as putting a scent on your stick bait and casting it out there and, and calling it the same thing, but this seems to have a little bit more fish trickery, if you will. We'll definitely use them during the open water season, but I wanna ask your guys' opinions. Is this something that you would use to help you catch fish? Is this something that if you're a fishing guide and you're having a rough day, you're gonna stock on your boat as kind of a backup? I don't know if they work or they don't. I've seen some videos, people say they do work, I wanted to try it out for myself, try it out for you guys. I may use one ice fishing. Um, I might try to use them when there is more open water. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these products, if you've used them before, um, if you think that they work or know that they work. Um, I'm really excited to try them. I'm just a little apprehensive because of everything that it takes to get into fishing and everything that you have to think about when it comes to catching fish. Um, if this made it that much easier, I'm sure that would take away a little bit of the allure for me of fishing. So let me know what you guys think down below. Really looking forward to using these bait clouds. The other thing I'll let you know about is actually I'm getting ready to take a trip to Cabo, Mexico. My plan out there is to go deep sea fishing. So hopefully we can get some video of deep sea fishing. I have never had success deep sea fishing. I went once in Maui and it was just not the right time. We didn't have a good day. There was no luck. So I'm hoping to change the tides this time in Cabo San Lucas and we'll see how it goes. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Meanwhile, let me know what you guys think about Bait Cloud and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. So you came to the channel, you liked what you saw. You do me one more thing before you leave and just click the subscribe button right here. That'll help me out a lot.